Blitz and Ben's Floor Part 3. Alright, so... <laughs> what a pain in the ass. So this was the second one. Um, I found it easier to put the thing on its uh, side um, versus completely upside down. I started upside down, but climbing underneath and getting back up on top would a pain in the ass. Uh, ratchet straps help pull it down. Um, one thing I found, another thing I found, um, you gotta uh, adhere it to the uh, frame rail. I, I think it's what helped kink up. That was the first one you're looking at. And I think that's what uh, started to make it kink all up because it kept flexing. And I didn't even put all the uh, self tappers in there. Um, what I did on this side er, is I just uh, I did some blocking, uh, clamped some uh, blocking in there and squeezed it on there. I think I did uh, screw a couple. Eh, maybe not. Eh, I didn't even screw any. Um, so I got that stuck on there. Uh, you can't really see here, but there are a couple kinks in there. Um, right there's a, a little bit. I'm going to uh, hammer and dolly that out. But from the inside, it, it, it really ain't so bad. I got one kink on here pretty bad uh, on this new one on this side, and it's right there. But it's actually uh, underneath the uh, the straight piece, so you, you can't see it from inside. And I think it's on the very bottom, so I'm going to hammer and dolly it. But uh, it might not even be that noticeable when the thing's on its lid, or sorry, when it's on its wheels, rubber side down. Um, <laughs> The hero MVP part of the day was the self tappers. So I ran an assortment of eights and twelves um, in there to uh, to get it down. Um, uh, when I ratcheted, when I pulled all this piece down and the other piece um, in, I, I, I put a piece of angle there that helped keep that edge pretty tight. You'll see I didn't, so obviously I'm going to have to go back and rivet the this seam together because I can't spot weld or TIG. So that'll have to be uh, riveted, uh, um, riveted, but uh, it'll be on the, on the very bottom. I did uh, trim that part too. Um, it was an irregular shape. And the, uh, I don't know if you saw in the other video, you can see the other one's way over there and it, it, it uh, went down at an angle. So I just went back and trimmed off this much to make that straight. And that'll be on the, that'll be on the bottom. So you won't see that rivet line um, when, it's, uh, when it's sitting static. Back here, I haven't figured out exactly what I'm doing. I, I just left it alone. The engine's back here. Uh, I, I think I'm gonna end up uh, relief trimming this and and making it taper up and, uh, and then flush to here. Um, you gotta be careful not to, uh, not to deprive the engine of air, because these are air-cooled motors, but I th think that's what I might do. Um, my last one, it was an open space in the back, back there. And if you watch the ice race video, uh, my, my CVT got packed with ice and snow. Not that this one will be an ice and snow anytime soon, but dust and debris and crap gets all over your motor. So I'd like to have it uh, closed off and then, uh, I'll figure out a way to vent air to it. Or maybe I'll have the louvers in here somewhere. I know it's hard to look at, you know, normally these videos, someone's like, turns it like this. <laughs> and then you're sideways looking at it on your screen. All right, coming along pretty good. So good so far. And also it's, uh, it feels really sturdy. I know it's hard to, you know, see what's going on here in a video. Um, but just pushing on it, you know, it's, you know, I, I, you know, a lot of the folks are using a uh, 050, um, for their floors and it seems to do okay. This is two times 03, 032. So it's, it's, it's pretty stout.
I don't even think I'll have to add, I was thinking maybe I'd have to add, uh, you know, something in here on the floor at the very, very bottom um, uh, to hold, support my feet, but I, I don't think that's going to be necessary. All right, on to the next piece.